everybody! We are here today to do some really fun wedding stuff. I'm Sandy Sandler and filming for Instagram is Whitley and filming for Facebook is Michael. Um, I have to let you guys know, I mean most of you who know me know that I've always considered myself craft phobic and a little bit creatively challenged. And I love working with designers that help me come up with great ideas. And Michael is now working with me as a designer and wait until you see some of the stuff he came up with. So today we're gonna start with filming um, some two bows and I'm gonna do a chair bow and then the rest of the month we're gonna be doing a wedding. So to get started, I'm just gonna show you a little bit about how the Bodabra works. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the Bodabra, right here underneath we have springs. So it's going to automatically adjust to the ribbon that I put in here, and it's going to act like a third hand. So we also have, we're not gonna be using the mini Bodabra today, but we also have a mini Bodabra, and it's exactly the same as the big Bodabra. It also has the springs, but um, you also have a measuring tool which makes it so that you can make really exact sheer bows and hair bows. So I'm gonna just take my mini, I'm gonna put that aside. And one more thing, as you guys know, I always like to wear hats with bows on it. And this is my little flower. And this is from a project that we made that is a gift card, which is really cute for spring for little girls. So she has her hair bows. And then it's just like on a fence. And for instructions on that, I think we're gonna put a link on, so just watch for the link. So now we're gonna get to wedding. And I'm going to start, I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, and oh, looks like I already have a piece cut. So I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, and I'm gonna fold it in half, which is what I do every time I start a bow. And I'm just gonna lay it down into my Bodabra, Hi, Terry. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Terry. Hi, Jeannie. Oh, I can't wait, Jeannie. Is this Jeannie Adams? Yes. Jeannie, I can't wait to see your pictures of whatever you're doing with buttons because it sounds really cool. Jeannie's always making bows. So now I'm going to take this. We've already dovetailed the end. And just to let you know, so you have an idea of how long this is, um, it's about 32 inches because I've got it folded in half. And these are my tails. So I'm just gonna fold it in half, take the center, and just scrunch that down into my Bodabra. Now I have another piece of the same burlap. I thought it would be really fun to do sort of, but it is after all Earth Month, so I figured we could do more of a rustic design for what we're doing right now. So I'm just, in case I did that too fast, I'm gonna just take this, fold it, and twist it, and push it down into my Bodabra. And now I'm going to fold, twist, and push it down into my Bodabra. And fold, twist, and put it in. Now this is the same on both sides, but I kind of like twisting because I think that it will allow me to give it a better shape when I'm finalizing my bow. So I'm gonna fold and twist, fold, twist, and push, fold, twist and push. Oh, and if I can ask you guys, if you wouldn't mind sharing with your friends that were live, that would be awesome. And one more time in a fold, and this time I'm just gonna scrunch it down. Then I have this really, really pretty, it's kind of a burlap with a lace over it. And I'm gonna twist it and scrunch that down into my Bodabra, the fold twist. Oh, one of the questions that I get a lot, so again, I'm going to fold and twist. And just scrunch that in, and I'm actually going to take my Dabra wand and scrunch everything down and bring it right back and do just one more loop here. And just scrunch that down. And now I'm going to just put my little florals in here. And I have one more stem that I'll put in there. And I'm gonna turn this to the side. 
and scrunch it down one more time. And then I'm gonna take, whoopsie daisy. Then I'm gonna take the, and I'm gonna hold that so it doesn't fall out. And then I'm gonna take my wire. And remember I folded this in half, so now I have a slip knot. And I'm just gonna hold my bow, push it down and pull it really tight while it's still in the bodabra. So now I'm gonna separate the ends and pull it tight right before I take it out of the bodabra. Then I'm gonna take it out and I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm going to just tie it and I'm gonna knot it. Mallory Isabel said, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Adelie asked, are these easy to use? And Al Pal said, wow, this is so cute. Thank you guys, and it's really easy to use. I mean, just keep watching and you'll see how super, super simple. And I'm just gonna kind of move and shape this and shape this around. And if you wanted, you could cut the end of this off or you can kind of bend it to hide it. But this makes a really pretty, I mean, it's just a beautiful bow for home decor, but it also works really well. Whoops, let me bring this over here. It works really well and hide my wire. Um, for a pew bow or any kind of decor bow that you want to make. Okay, I'm making a big mess over here. So, and yes, the Bodabra is so easy. This is not me. This is definitely the Bodabra. So now I'm going to put this bow aside and I'm going to take this. We're now we're going to make a really, really big chair bow slash it could be a pew bow, but this one's going to be pretty big. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm standing up because I've got a lot to work with here. So I'm going to fold my wire in half and lay that down into my bow dab wrap. I'm just going to tuck the ends Gail underneath. Gail says, very pretty. Christine Thank says, super cute and thinking of it. Stronger spring as needed, but looks fun. Thank you. Okay, let's grab this, which is going to be this here is what I'm going to use to tie my bow around the chair. So to make the measurement for this, what I suggest you do is measure the length around a chair and add about five, 10 extra inches. So you have five extra inches on each side. So I'm going to start by just folding this in half. And um, so once I find my center point, then that's gonna go, and it's kind of like we do with tails. I'm just gonna put Julie this. Julie loves your bow. Thank you. And I'm gonna fold, push that down in here. Then I'm taking this really big, this piece of, um, it's like a jute mesh, and it's pretty wide. I think it's about a 14 inch wide. And I'm just going to scrunch the end down here. And I'm gonna fold it back over and make the loop about the size I want. And then just scrunch it into my bodabra. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Um, I'm gonna just scrunch this all down into my bodabra. And uh, my wand is hidden under here somewhere. Oh, here it is. And I'm just going to scrunch everything down for good measure. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pieces of, now what these are are about, oh no, wait, you know, yeah, no, this is correct. These are, um, where's my measurer here? And so what I've done is we've got about these are about 20 inches long and they're then dovetailed. So now I'm just gonna take the center, which you can find by folding it in half and scrunch that down into my bow dab wrap. I'm gonna take another piece, scrunch that down, another piece and scrunch that down. And then I'm gonna take this really pretty 
mesh, which is also what I use in the tie. And I'm really excited because next week we're actually gonna have this beautiful gold ribbon on sale in our store. So I'm gonna fold. And now here, this is the wrong side and this is the right side. So I'm gonna make sure that I make sure the wrong side is on the inside of my loop. I'm gonna fold my loop in, twist it and scrunch it down, making sure the wrong side is on the inside. And I'm just going to continue doing this and getting glitter all over everything, which is so much fun. But I'm gonna show you when I'm done with this bow, I'm gonna show you my tip for cleaning up glitter really fast. So I'm gonna just fold this back. Our and pal said, what a neat little thing. I need to get one myself. Debbie said, love how easy. And Danielle said, I'm underutilizing my Bodabra. You know, that's a really good comment because a lot of people underutilize their Bodabra. And that's why I do these Facebook Lives because I can show you so many other ways to use it, like flowers and headbands and pom-poms. And I mean, it's just amazing all the things you can do. So now I'm gonna scrunch down. And if you're interested in purchasing the Bodabra, you can get it online at Michael's, Joann's, um, let's see, Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, most of the major craft chains carry the Bodabras. So it would match this awesome and looks like I need to get me one of these. Wow. Oh, thank you. Debbie said, love the weekly inspiration. Debbie, thank you so much. It, I love that you joined me. It just means a lot that you guys take your time out of your day and join me for my Bodabra lives. So now oops, I got one more here. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to do one Tamara more. Tamara loves hers. Thank you, Tamara. I mean, I love mine. And it's like, it's just what I love is having new designers that come and give me more ideas, putting different ribbons together. And I love it when you guys share your pictures with me. So I'm just going to twist it. Now we're, we've got a lot of ribbon in here. So um, I might have to just hold it down a little bit with my fingers but the Bodabra is pretty much holding everything in there. So, but this is gonna make just a gorgeous chair bow. Or you could put it on a mantle as just a beautiful decoration. And we're gonna go here, twist it. And just remember, I'm keeping the wrong side of the ribbon on the inside of the loop. So I'm gonna make one more loop. I'm gonna scrunch my bow down. I mean, my, my bow down with my wand. And one last thing, and I am holding that because I think it might pop out. I'm gonna throw in this really pretty bouquet, twist my bow around, my bow dabra around, and let me do this so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So now I've got my loop here, pulling my two ends of my bow dabra bow wire through pulling it really tight while it's still in the Bodabra. So now when I pull it out, even with all that ribbon, it's holding. So I'll separate my wire, and this is our Bodabra bow wire, which you can buy pretty much anywhere you can buy the Bodabra. And I'm gonna just pull that tight, and now I'm gonna double knot it. And we will shape out the bow. Both Debbie and Danielle said, wow, amazing. Thanks, you guys. I mean, isn't it fun? And it's so, so simple. It's not me. It is the Bodabra. So let me sit down here and start. Gail says, wow, that's gorgeous. Thank you, Gail. And when Gail says something gorgeous, I'm like, wow. Because Gail is like so talented herself. Crystal says, look how gorgeous that bow is. Thank love, you, love. guys. <laughs> you know, I also wanted to say thank you. There you go. Is that not beautiful? So I'll just hold that for a second because I'm proud of my, my piece of, of art that I just created. But that's the cool thing, you guys. If I can do this, anybody can do this. So now I'm going to work on a more traditional color. 
of a bow. So I'm gonna, are we ready to put this one aside? And I'm gonna just lay this over here. And we are going to take out, oh, I promised I'd show you my trick for cleaning up glitter. I have this because those of you that know my puppy Vivi, um, we definitely need getting rid of her, her hair, but see how easy this is for just getting rid of all the glitter for cleaning it up. So just get like a lint brush and I'll clean most of this up later, but isn't that cool? So anyway, that's my tip for today for getting rid of the glitter that you get all over everything. So now I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, I'm gonna fold it in half and lay this down into my Bodabra, just tucking it underneath so it stays out of my way. And I have this really pretty. Pat pretty said, love it, Sandy. The combination would also make a beautiful wreath. Thank you, Pat, I think you're absolutely right. That's what's fun about this. I can't even tell, I think this is the, this is, I think it's the same. Okay, I think this is the right side. So I'm gonna just fold it in half. I've already dovetailed my tails and I'm gonna just scrunch this down into my bow tabra. It's a little bit hard with the white underneath the lights. So now I'm gonna start here and this is my right side. I'm gonna twist it and fold it. Nope, I did that wrong, see? So I'm gonna start this side up, twist and lower that. It's hard to see this ribbon under the white lights that I have, and I'm just gonna twist it, make it a little bit bigger. Debbie said, so lovely for wedding decorations on the church pews. Exactly, Debbie, thank you. I, I just love this, because it makes making your wedding bows so much more simple. Plus, what you can do, I know a lot of brides that will actually buy a couple of bodabras and let their bridesmaids at their bridal shower help them to make the bows for the wedding, which is kind of a cheating way to get help from your friends. <laughs> I uh, twist it. Again, I'm folding, twisting, and make these a little bit smaller and just push that down in there. And I am going to take my wand and just scrunch it down in here. Then, I'm gonna take, this is just a really pretty, it's a tool, um, and it has just these wonderful waves on it. So I'm just gonna take it here, and I'm just gonna scrunch it into my Bodabra. And keep scrunching. And I'm going, this time though, I'm gonna just kinda of curve this under at the end, so there won't be an end showing, so it, it will be hidden the raw edge of the of the tool. And then just as a final coup de gras, I'm gonna add my little rose to the center. And I'm gonna scrunch this bow down. I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire, and same as always, I'm gonna pull the two ends through the slip knot that I created by folding it in half when I first put it in. I'm gonna pull it really tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Pull it out, I'm gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and I'm going to just tie a knot. So the cool thing about this is you can use any ribbon, any color, anything you want, and you'll have a beautiful bow for gift wrap, decor, I'm just going to clip my ends here, and now I'll shape it out. I'm going to bring my tails down this side here, and I'm just going to shape my bow. And you can see how super, super simple. So anybody who's got to make pew bows or anything like that, this is a really just a very simple, um, quick and easy way to make a pupo. Pause and craft said, wow, looks so easy. And Debbie said, beautiful. Thank you, Debbie. And thank you, pause and craft. Is that, is this pause and craft from the name of a dog or is, is that pause? Is it P-A-W-S or? Yeah. Okay, cool. So now you have to let me know what kind of animal you have. I'm curious because <laughs> I love our furry little friends. 
So, and, and we do do puppy bows and everything. Um, let's put this aside here. And we'll pull out another. Jeannie Fine. says so pretty. Madge says very pretty. My mom is a florist. She loves oh. the wedding planning. Oh, wow. Okay. Julie, can't wait for you to do corsages. That's going to be, is that next week? I think so. I think in two weeks. In two weeks, we're going to be doing corsages and boutonnieres. I'm not 100% sure. We will be announcing it, but this whole month, we're doing pubos. Well, that's today. We're going to do corsages. We're going to do headpieces. We're going to do um, ring bearer and flower girl. And I had someone who requested that I do a wand for a fairy flower girl. So we're definitely going to do that. So the entire month of April, we're going to be covering weddings and everything with weddings and um, centerpieces. Like for instance, there's this really pretty, if you guys can take a picture, we're gonna make this next week, this really beautiful little centerpiece. So it's super, super, super simple. It's kind of my motto. The simpler and easier, the better. So I've got my Bow Dabra Bow Wire. This time I'm using silver. I've, and there's no reason, you're not even gonna see the wire. Fold it in half and put it down into my Bow Dabra. Um, and then let me just take all this out of here. Um, so then what I'm going to do, Rose said, that's a really pretty floral design. Oh, thank you, Rose. Um, and actually thank you, Michael, because <laughs> Michael definitely came up with some amazing stuff for today. So we're going to start by taking my tail. And I'm just going to fold it in half here, put a little scrunch in the middle, and lay my tail down into my bow dabra. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to do something different. We're going to put the florals in first and put this in here. And then I'm going to make a like really pretty little burlap bow. I'm just going to fold, twist, and scrunch it down. And fold, twist, and scrunch it in. Pause and craft said, I love dogs and crafting. And Flavor Ohio said, thanks for the inspiration. Oh, well, thank you guys. I'm so happy that you, you're taking the time to watch me. And I hope you'll join me again next week on Monday for just more fun inspiration. So now I'm just going to lay these beautiful are these mums i guess they're mums peonies i'm sorry i'm asking because i don't know so and <laughs> that's why i have to ask and then now we're going to take this beautiful ribbon and just going to twist it and... arena says kisses from argentina oh hi from argentina where in argentina are you from so now we're just going to fold and tw whoops twist and again I, I forget if i thanked you guys already so twist and push but we had some really amazing reviews from you guys this week on our facebook page and i really really appreciate you taking the time to do that so i'm just going to twist and fold twist um and oops. Here, and I'm gonna just twist it. And I am actually gonna stand up here and scrunch down. So we've got a lot of stuff in the Bodabra right now. And you can see how it's holding everything in, which is what's so magical. And Crystal says, I love the colors for this bow. They are really going to make the bow pop. Thank you, Crystal. And pull it back. And twist and just do one more loop here and then we're going to finish it with this really pretty little burlap centerpiece and again see it's all staying in the bodabra but for good measure it's going to scrunch it one more time i'm going to try to find my wire under all this when i'm doing a bow that's this big i like to add a little extra of the bodabra bow wire so that it i don't lose it so I'm going to hold everything down really tight 
I'm gonna pull my wire really, really tight while it's still in the bodabra. I'm gonna come out, separate my ends. Whoops. Bring it around to the back. And I'm just gonna kind of, whoops, before I tie it off, I'm just gonna kind of twist it a little bit and or get, make sure all my flowers, okay. And then now, I'm gonna tie a knot and clip the ends. Shouldn't lose these scissors with these bright zebra stripes, but somehow everything seems to get lost when I'm crafting. And so now, these are this is a wired ribbon, so I'm just gonna kinda twist and shape and bring it all around my flower in the middle. And it takes a little bit of time to shape it because we've got so much actually in here. And these ends you could just cut off with pliers um, and bring my ribbon around here, sort of show off the colors of the peonies. Brenda says, does the wire ever break? Very rarely. Um, it does happen, but the what in just one second, I'll show you the trick of the wire. And there you have this really pretty bouquet. Send me love and let me know what you guys think about it. Paws and Craft said so pretty. Thank and you. Debbie said beautiful. Thank you, Debbie and Paws and Crafts. Are we not seeing comments on Facebook? I think it's kind of hard sometimes. So there's our beautiful little arrangement. Karen says lovely. Thank you, Karen. And I'm just going to show you guys. So we got to get the cameras up pretty close here. The reason this wire is extremely strong. Liz and says that's beautiful. And Crystal says... Are you having trouble seeing? <laughs> yeah, I know. It moves really fast. Um, okay, so here we've got... It's it's a very tiny little wire. Let me put it on, on top of my hand so you can actually see it. There's a really, really thin wire. But part of our patent on this is that it also has a nylon filament. So the wire makes it malleable like a wire. But the filament is what gives it its strength. So that's what makes our bow dabber bow wire special because you can literally just cut it with scissors. You don't need to have needle nose pliers or anything else. So I can't believe how fast this half hour went. I am so grateful to you guys for joining me and I'm really excited next week we're going to do table decor and um, all kinds of things for more for decorating. Um, your wedding table and your entire wedding. So over the rest of the month, please join me. We're going to have some really fun DIY wedding tips. And please tell your friends to join as well. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye.